Gnosis. I think it's important not to rush to, uh, to, to too many conclusions too fast because essentially, you know, we don't know how our own brains work. We don't even know how our brain conjures up an image of what is objectively outside our heads. You know, when the photons hit the retina, they don't go inside the brain. What actually happens is that information, that, the, that photon bombardment, uh, uh, is transduced into electrochemical information that is then decoded and classified and categorized back here at the back of the head where the visual cortex is. And then somehow that information, which is uh, uh, deconstructed into color, movement, uh, depth, uh, is reconstructed into an image that looks to me that it's outside my head, but it's actually being uh, concocted inside my brain. We don't know how our brain creates a 3D color image uh, inside the brain that looks like it's outside. We, we don't know how we see objective reality. Uh, th that's the mystery of consciousness. We don't know how the film that we see springs out of the, uh, the three pounds of jelly inside our skull. You know, how does this uh, uh, immaterial film that I see spring out of this gray g gelatinous matter inside my skull? We don't know. We'd like to know. We don't even know where the screen is. Um, when we take ayahuasca, there's a screen, there's a film. Boy, is there a film. The colors are, are ten times more intense. See, you see stuff you've never seen in ordinary uh, reality. But meanwhile, there is no objective outside, you know, there's no photons bombarding your, your retina. You're, you're actually, we have even less idea of what's going on inside our brains when we are hallucinating. Now, uh, it is a, a suggestion of Frit, Fritz Albert Popp, who studies biophotons. Uh, the biophotons are uh, coherent, ultra-weak, light emissions that uh, are generated, emitted, but also picked up by DNA molecules inside living cells. Uh, this is uh, somewhat marginal science because the evidence is necessarily indirect. In other words, if you open up a cell, open up the nucleus, thereby killing the cell, and extract the DNA molecule from the now dead cell, it no longer emits light. So you cannot observe directly DNA molecules emitting photons. However, you can measure the uh, photon emission and you can deduce by indirect and mathematical means that it's coming from the DNA. So uh, biophoton emission by DNA molecules remains a subject where more research is needed. But Fritz Albert Popp has suggested that ordinary consciousness, this, this experience we have where we actually see light, well, wh what is this light that, that we see? It's not the actual photons themselves that are hitting on the retina. Somehow, this film that, that is generated by the three pounds of jelly inside our skull, uh, where is that light coming from? Well, we know that our brains are, are filled with cells and that cells are filled with DNA and we also know that DNA is emitting and receiving photons. Perhaps there is a connection between our ordinary experience of consciousness and the biophoton emissions of our neurons. Perhaps when we hallucinate with ayahuasca, what is going on is that uh, our brain is picking up biophoton emissions around us. Uh, we don't know what is the, wh where do these images come from? When we see all kinds of outlandish things that we've never thought about before, never seen before, when we are in ayahuasca visions, you know, the traditional uh, uh, explanation is, oh, this is all just uh, stuff that's stored in your subconscious. Uh, but th there are many among us who uh, know 
that uh, what we have seen is something that we've never seen before anywhere. Uh, so, what is the origin of uh, this information, of these visions? Where are they coming from? Well, a lot of the information seems to be about the uh, biosphere around us. So, perhaps as the biosphere, which is a layer of cell-based life, all the cells, all the grass, all the worms, all the fish, everybody, this, this layer of life, everybody's made of cells, everybody contains DNA, everybody has biophotonic emission. Perhaps, and let's underline perhaps, because at this point we, we're just trying to figure out the mysteries of existence here. You know, what goes on in our minds when we have uh, intense visionary experiences. Perhaps our brain is acting like a, a, a radio TV receiver. An ordinary consciousness is, is one program that the brain concocts. Um, but then when you uh, modify the consciousness, you're, you're ch ch churning, turning the channel and picking up uh, biospheric television. Uh, but you know, that is just a, uh, it's not a certitude. There is so much mystery involving consciousness, modified states of consciousness, that uh, these are just ideas to, to play around with uh, and to entertain rather than any kind of new form of uh, certitude.